everyone today i'm going to show you how to revamp your cv using an app on your smartphone so you need to in download an app called intelligent cv this is the app right there then you go and click on it it'll appear on this page and then you need to click create for you to start a new cv and then um, you need to create a new profile click on the round um, shape with a plus inside start by adding your personal details click on personal details and then start adding your name your address your email your phone number and all the other details i'm going to show you an example now okay now if you want to add a picture you can just click on that image icon there and then it will take you to a gallery and you can add a picture and if you want to change it you can just click change and then if you want to remove the picture you can just click remove now i'm going to show you how to add another um field which is not here like maybe if you want to add your date of birth or your driver's license or nationality you need to click on add and then you will see more um more personalized fields and then you just if you want to um add date of birth just activate the date of birth there and then it will come and appear here and then you just add your date of birth now um you go back and add more um a field you want to add is not created yet you need to create it by clicking on the create button and then um let's add driver's license since it is not there create and then it will appear then there now you need to go back and there it appears then just add it also now when you're done adding all your personal or information you scroll down and click save next you add your educational background click on education click on add and you add the course that you're doing the university that you're in the grade and year on the grade space you can use it to add your uh, modules the name of your modules and then you click save and if you have uh, more than one you can just click add and then add another one i'm going to show you an example now then you add your um, work experience click on experience then click on add and the first thing you, you add your company name and um, the job title uh, the start date and end date and then you add on details add the duties of that job and then if you've worked um, more than one company you add, you can click add and then add the next company and click save when you're done i'm also going to do an example of this one and then you need to add your skills and also rate them add how good you are with those skills click on skills and click on add and then just type the first skill and then also rate if you are um very good at it or you are not that good you can rate there from level one to five computer literacy i would say is the first one or you add your own and then if you need to um, add the next one you click add the next one and then when you're done you click save the next one is objective this one is optional you can edit you can also not include it but if you want to include it you can just click objective and then you can write your own objective there and click save and if maybe you are not too sure you can on at the top there you can check um examples click on the example side and you can just um choose one of the available personalized objectives there i'm just going to choose one which okay um I would go with this one to enhance my professional skills capabilities and not i'll go with this one and then um i just click save and it's saved the last one is adding reference so you need to add um reference for your work experience click reference click add and then you need to add the referee's name um the job title of the, the reference the company name the, an email if they do have and then um um and then telephone number then you click save if you have more than one also click add and then continue adding now let's say you want to add another section which is not available on the available sections 
you can just go and say click on um, add more sections and then you'll just check if there is any section that you want let's maybe add languages or achievements and awards okay let's add achievements and awards and then you click add you just click your achievements let's say you you've received a certificate of um great customer service you can just add it or and then if you have an, another achievement or award you can just click add and then add all the achievements i'm just going to add one just for an example um okay okay now if you want to personalize your details your education or experience or skills or in the others or reference to um to appear in sequence okay let me use experience i'm gonna um apply this in sequence for my current my current experience to appear at the top and all my previous um experience to appear at the bottom so since well th my this one is my previous experience i'm gonna go and look for my current and then i'm gonna at the top where it says experience the, there is an arrow you need to click on that arrow to move it to the top so i'm gonna move it to the top it goes to the top but and taking the previous one to the bottom so i'm gonna have to go back again see it still appears below my previous one of escom so i need to also click again the upward arrow so it goes to the top um yeah to the top top now it appears at the top and if i want to, it to appear at the bottom i'm going to click the downward arrow to appear at the bottom now i'm going to check the others if they appear since well this um the health one is before the escom one i need to take the health one on top of the escom one so i'm going to take this one to the top click on the upward arrow now they appear in sequence this my escom is my first my first one it appears at the bottom health is my second one it appears in the middle and my current one is at the top and you click save um now we are going to personalize your sections for them to appear accordingly so because your personal details need to be um now because your personal details needs to be at the top um not under your educational background or experience or skills or reference we need to rearrange the sections so they appear accordingly just scroll down to manage sections click on rearrange or edit headings and then you will see how they will be appearing now you need to um, rearrange them on your left side there there are arrows that appear um, upward and downward arrows for you to move sections you need to um, click and hold on that up and downward arrow and move it let's say personal details should be the first one and then objective and then experience then education so i'm going to move personal details to the top i'm going to click and hold the downward arrow and then move it to the top yes now um, objective is the next one experience education and then i'm going to take um, achievements and put it right underneath education and above skills and then yeah so projects i don't need it i'm going to go back and remove it and then if, then you just it's automatically saved you just go back now that i've added my information and all my information is saved i'm going to view my cv i'm going to click at the bottom where it says view cv obviously it will pop up an ad because it's it's a free app just click across there and remove it and then i'm going to choose the template that i want there's so many templates to choose from just choose whichever one you like i like this um, number 19 so i'm going to choose number 19 and then see how it looks there's my cv you can click on zoom just to have a clear view of your cv and this is all my details my cv is complete it has all my details and then um, let me go back if you want to download it to your phone just click download and it will download it and save it to your to your phone 